Hey, Trader, what's going on? Welcome to episode 702 of the show. You can be doing anything, but you're here, and I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Wow, dudes, here we are again. Another day. Bitcoin's barely moved. $71 down, not even 1%. Wow. A lot of action on Bitcoin. A lot of action on crypto. Uh, unfortunately, if you care so much about crypto, you're missing out. You're missing out on opportunities. All kinds of cra- crazy things happen. And last night was kind of this, uh, I mean, no one watched, but I did a live stream for like an hour and we scanned stocks for short opportunities. And if you look at today, man, the market done pretty hard. So, uh, my voice is breaking up. What the heck? Still screwed. Maybe it's uh Oh, oh my god, it's the AM radio. How did that happen? <laughs> oh my god, I downloaded the voice changing software, but for some reason it's on AM radio. He doesn't the AM radio, man. Does it sound good? Just Since Bitcoin's doing nothing, man, absolutely nothing. I mean, yeah, shooting pulse up, slowly down, slowly in salvation, yeah, could break to the upside, man. Oh my god, 3 8 is 89 41. I'm your father. I will destroy you, man. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea it was even open, man, alright? Last, I didn't touch anything on this voice changer, okay? I will finish where you started. And they will. Okay, man. Kang Logan, are you okay, dudes? It's so funny, Brad's like texting me. Your mic's broken, man. It's like, no, my mic's just enhanced. Okay, anyway, dudes. sound like chat does it sound weird these are like new i think these are new ones or something new version i'm looking for the normal like go back to normal setting it should be here there it is okay sorry chat i really really apologize okay there's just uh sometimes when you're up in the clouds dude craziness can happen all right but anyway I don't even know if you could hear what I said. Bitcoin added moves. Stock market did make moves today. Brother man. Let's go, dude. Thank you, Marco, man. Oh, my God. Freaking love you, dude. Holy crap. Marco Rivera hit $20. Thanks for consistency and the dedication. Much appreciation. Clinking beer mugs. Dude, Marco, thanks so much for this. The, all the ongoing support, dude. Like, it's almost like every day, dude, I feel like, uh, with either kind words or contribution, man, it's just, thank you, dude. Okay, very grateful. And uh, all I can say is I'll just keep coming back and keep being consistent for y'all, right? Because, uh, you know, there's technical analysis, then there's, like, Mitch Ray TA, where we have clouds and we have, you know, all the charts are in space out there. And, uh, you know, just, it's different here. All right. Different types of TA. This is different. All right. So, uh, I mean, I, I wish there was really TTS background. 
There's no way, Bradford. There's no freaking way. This is what happens when you have a crappy sound system. You can't even tell. But no, it's so quiet, man. Sober and quiet. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If we get if there another like TTS comes in, we'll we'll know if it's broken or not, Bradford. Okay. Thank you, dude. <clears throat> for the updates and all that. So again, I, I mean, like after breaking out of this, you would think maybe with the consolidation, again minimum 89.41 all the way up to 9700. It's all real uh, possibilities. But as discussed before, you know, from the high point to low point, you've hit a 23% retrace. That's a shallow retrace, and you reversed, but not too far, not yet. All right, so there is always a chance of a rally, one more rally. Just to hit common retrace levels. Hey, look, you might hit the 75% trend line of the Equidistant Channel that's been regarded as a support and resistance uh, multiple times uh, in the lifespan of this channel. So it could happen again. You could see resistance at 88.30. What's it? Mr. Sinton, you like the stars? Okay, dude. Just hoping it's not too uh, disruptive for people. All right. Man, I don't know. I was like looking at altcoins today. I've been looking at altcoins and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, what are they doing? They, they just, they had bullish patterns. They had all this divergence, man. They've all retraced severely from their tops. I mean, we're talking Litecoin has retraced from its $22 bottom in December of 2018. It's retraced nearly 78% of the way. Imagine FOMOing into that. Imagine. So, uh, looking at all those uh, S coins, I'm just, I'm not turned on by it. All right. It does not please me. It does not satisfy me uh, with the way they look. Uh, just because I know, like, what if Bitcoin wants to dump again? You know, you try to take an entry on an S coin and Bitcoin just dumps a little bit, they're screwed. Just the market, man. It's just. It, the meta has changed so much with the, the market cap for Bitcoin is so high again. It's just like these altcoins are just not very efficient. Okay, maybe a few are up, you know, but like most of them really aren't up. I mean, dude, there's just such there's just better opportunity. But people care about crypto so much, man. It's like, we'll look at it, you know, it's like, okay, here, here's Ethereum. And just a down sloping channel after already getting obliterated. You know, try to rally, but don't you don't like so the contradicting variables here suck. Because on the daily there is some sort of like divergence on the RSI, but it just almost looks like you're creating a wedge. Like just you know, one it's just like uh, one amount of chop, another, another three times. It's like a, almost like a freaking rising wedge, man. And I don't know how we plot it, we do it like that. Now we adjust, sure. Right, it's just, it's not bullish. So maybe there's a shorting opportunity here, right on Ethereum US dollar. Okay. So, uh, sorry man. Sorry to be the breaker of bad news on Ethereum right there. You go to the daily, you go to log scale. Sorry, I was just like messing around with it. I mean, yeah, we have our wedge or whatever. I don't even know if I was in log scale. Yeah, I wasn't even uh, on this one. I think I, I just completely got rid of everything. Just started from scratch. And as you can see, you made like a 70% retrace. Maybe 73% retrace, 74. You know, from the lowest point, we're talking $83 to all the way to the peak. So just major dumps, but right here, a, a low on price, a Slightly lower low, higher levels of strength. You did pop, but maybe that's the pop you got from it. And, and it's very weak, as you can just see in the four hour. Very clear rising wedge of some sort. There's a support line all the way back in the wick from September 11th, 2018. You held it. You're trying to hold it. You're trying to spring to the upside now. See if you can hold it. You just got adversity ahead of you. You do. Right up here at uh, nearly $200.
Always something, dude. Yeah, my mic and or my my voice audio is all screwed up, dude. Awesome. I don't know what to do, man. It's like every day. You know how it is. Every effing day, there's always something stupid that happens with my stream. There's nothing I can do about it. Maybe we should just stop the stream and restart it. I don't know. I'm stopping it. You gotta restart it. What does this button do? 0025061780 TDH. Oh my god, John Stanley Vlogs, dude. Thanks so much for the uh, nearly $5 of Ethereum. Yeah, 445 of Ethereum. Thank you, dude. Um, are y'all getting that? The I'm gonna pull up my my phone and just see it. Okay for myself. Before I stop this crap and restart it. Oh my God. I was muted. Yeah, I'm muted. I was, yeah, because I was trying to listen in or listen to the echo or whatever. <sighs> so this broke out, a measured move, perfect targets, 154. There you go, boom, could short it. Could be a short opportunity. But it could also rise one more time. Obviously, the top of a wedge is going to be the lowest risk area for a short. Hello? Looking at it, something like this. If you could ever get up there, which you, you may never get up there. Something like that. Something kind of like that. All right. Now, some people could take, uh, hey, if you're going to take a short here. That means you're at a higher risk area. Because if this thing takes a break to the upside inside the parameters of this pattern, well, you're going to get stopped out and there might be a better entry and it dumps up here, right? So I guess you could take two chances down here and up here in case you don't want to miss the trade. Again, it's just not your lowest risk area, but it is pretty deep within the development of the pattern, right? And it's like a 4.59 to 1 reward to risk in that situation, but again, not the lowest risk area. The lowest risk is up here. Does that make sense? Chat, hello? Yeah, Mitch Ray coin just dumped 50%. Yeah, dude, flash crash. Do I believe Dash will go up within the next year or so? I mean, the, the technicals, you know, if I'm looking at any asset that's not crypto, it seems like it very well could based on its weekly pattern development. That's Dash. Yeah, I feel like uh, Bill O'Reilly, yes. Just completely flustered. Flustered and uh, kind of vexed. So nuts -o. I mean, I guess we look at the 60 minute, whatever. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking pattern like this, right? I mean, it looks great, freaking great. So, uh, yeah, dude, it doesn't really look that good. I mean, dude, 
if Bitcoin's gonna, it looks like all, a lot of these assets, all, like all these S coins are like that. They're like bear shrake tangles, rising wedges, bear flags, like almost all of them look like that in a way where they have huge moves down and then there's eh, farting around for like a few days, man. I mean, really like a week just crapping around, barely making higher highs in the consolidation and much lower highs than your previous high. You're not even coming close to threatening it, dude, right? I mean, this thing's uh, run up like 50% or more of the way, a high point to low point. Okay, nearly 50%, right? So in the golden zone, 188 was that 50%. Always could run up to it again, but uh, you know, you have sold off. You should bearish divergence from a high to a higher high and you sold off. But again, it's, I mean, there's just always higher risk on shorts here because it could break. But a lot of times you won't get that. You won't get that luxury of it breaking back up one more time before it dumps, okay? So you have to use I mean, your own thought process. Even here, you can have a low risk high reward opportunity, but again, if you get stopped out at like 182 and it runs up to 188, 189, and then dumps, man, that sucks, you missed out. I mean, you could, I guess, get stopped out and then go right back into a short, but then when it breaks above that, then it's like, eh, you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's all about your risk appetite. Okay. What's up, Kenny? Twenty times? Are you kidding me, dude? His name's Kenny twenty times. I'm gonna go get the Kenny. The Kenny. You get it? All right, is it twenty times instead of two? All right. That's like he's in Goodfellas. Goodfellas five. Right, the fifth Goodfellas movie or something, right? Stay at home, Kang's nose. Okay. All right, so that's that's it for uh, Ethereum, man. All right, it, it does seem a very real possibility that this could happen. But if it doesn't happen in your eyes, the upside, there's lower risk areas way up here for a short. And you can get much greater yield and return with lower risk so it's not optimum but it's okay anyway all right here it's just like what what even is the pattern that's developing i mean i get it low lowest low kind of higher low than that low I'm trying to rally again but you could almost just look at this like uh you know on the 60 minute a small range between 53.06 and 58.47, right? The lowest area, you know, the small, like the, of the small range, here's your like low risk area for a long, here's your low risk area for short. And that's all that's really developing right now. Yeah, I guess you're getting back out. You know, we've already, uh, of the channel that you got a false break out of. All right, so it did break out. And we'll see if we can get some volatile price action to the upside. But dude, I mean, it's like high, higher, high, lower levels of uh, positive. That's like a little bit of bearish divergence. So I hadn't broken down yet. I mean, definitely looks like on Bitcoin or, you know, not really Ethereum. Ethereum looks pretty bad, but on Bitcoin, you could see another rally to the upside because we haven't hit a common retrace level. 89.40 is that... 38% retrace from our previous high, okay? So, love to see some movement, some volatility on Bitcoin again, but it's like few and far between now. It's like wait 80 days for one huge red day and then see you bye, we're gone again. That's just, wow. A lot of opportunity, dude. Capo. XRP again. Let's just go to the daily and get it over with. 25 cents. Yeah, it's just funny. I mean, I, I guess you're trying, you're holding kind of above a couple wicks here, but nothing doing. Bullish and golden candle, indecision, you know, 
cutting through half of your green candle and now you're just kind of going sideways i mean what even is there you know there's a channel we know there's a channel but uh, what's the point with all the horizontal lines you just see them like you're trying to hold this maybe i think you're trying to use it as support you're just right at it man 25.2 cents <laughs> Hey Mitch, this is Mitch's world and that's why we're all here together. The sky, the moon, the rocket launches, the tornadoes, the voices, the spins, music, Jeopardy and of course the TA. And the list goes on and on. Your commitment helps us keep ours. Wow, Brugalinos, thank you dude. Thank you man. Yeah? The laughs, the cries, everything dude. It's, uh, it's a magic journey with all of you and it feels great man <sighs> and thank you for the threes okay man just trying to I don't know spread the good news have you heard the good news TA has risen in meme form this is it dude this is what you get thank you dude alright so I think the, the one chart to look at now it's just this one you look we look at it every time now every time right you're just we're actually showing some sort of uh, touches here you're actually above it now just skating along it dude this goes all the way back way on back to 2014 when it all started for XRP this asset you're right at it man and, and if you're talking about long-term position trading just holding something I mean, this is it. This is it, dude. This is the area. It's all here. I mean, it goes sideways. Now, it wasn't developed yet, but I'm just saying, like, now that we have this data, it seems like there is possibility that we could just, we could break the upside here if this channel is to be respected, but we don't know. I don't know if it's going to be uh, respected, dude. Very good one to watch. XRP from this point on because here we are football today it's Wednesday there is no football today Mr. Senton uh, football starts tomorrow for college football I think there's NFL too I don't really do NFL though you know so and it's not a big deal it's not bad I watch Ballers, though, which is related. It is the NFL, so I got that going for me, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, man, just midweek. And really, I mean, this isn't what's gotten me hyped today. None of these altcoins, they haven't gotten me hyped. It's hard to get me hyped. Sound is not in sync. Is it? Is it like that for anyone else? Please, someone tell me, dude. turn my freaking webcam off so I don't have to deal with this crap anymore man okay you can just do that it's very easy you can just be like a freaking podcast okay man hi now I can do this you know it's like where is it dude hello everybody you can't see me but you know I'm here, and we just looked at the uh, the big coins, the bigger market cap all the coins, great, but uh, United's man, not in the same. Can't confirm. Great, nothing I can do about it. Uh, I mean, like, dude, when I live stream over 700 episodes, really a thousand episodes, I don't change things, and then they, then those variables change. And there's nothing I can do about it. I don't want to tell you, dude. Okay, so I'm just going to not be on webcam webcam today. So whatever. Now, now it doesn't matter. Who cares about the sinkage of this crap? I want you to see some chat. Took a short at open. Well, and, and lucky me, I guess. Dude, you know, who cares, man? It was just the, it was the macro. Okay, well... Took a short, literally at open, which was like 65 bucks. Ball. See ya.
freaking see it. Oh, I'm sorry. If you weren't here last night, you don't, you don't even know about XEL. But we were here. We analyzed this. This is how dreams are made. A double top high flyer. All right. With bearish divergence on both oscillators. Get out of here, dude. Get out. Let me turn my voice back. Because I don't even know if it sounds good or not. You may not even be able to understand me, okay? Yeah, God, dude. Unbelievable, dude. Yep. You don't think people care what I do, though? I care about my production of this stream. And if they're, if it's out of sync, that triggers me, dude. I can't do it. I just won't do it. That's right, Mr. Sentin. We in heaven, dude. We made it, man. We made it. We're in heaven. We're in TA heaven. This is TA heaven. All right? I hope you were able to partake in this dump with me today. It was glorious. It was fantastic. There are no fools in chat, Garth Vader, okay? These are the peoples. This is our community. We can't be talking crap about our own community, dude. Come on. Be cool. People just trying to be uh, supportive and um, people just trying to give me updates and I really appreciate it. So don't think you're like, you know, don't act like you're complaining if the quality's off. Like I'm super obsessed with, I don't know, perfectionist stuff. Like, okay, if something's off, I need to know about it. I don't want to, I don't want to like review the stream after and, and notice it and be like, mother of God, no one said anything. Okay. Sir Charles, <clears throat> I mean, it, you know, once this is the neckline, I will cover a little bit, just a little bit, and then move my stop up and see what happens. It was pretty, pretty uh, good one though, man. I mean, like this is just ungodly. Look, I don't even know if I fibbed here from the high to low. Yeah, you were above the 1272, so yeah, that one didn't help, but mother of God, Texas Instruments. <sighs> Beautiful. Gandalf calls people fools. That's true, dude. Okay, you're good, Garth Vader. No problem. It's like tough love insult, you know? I got you, man. How do you short if you don't already own the asset? Um, what? Like, short's a contract. I say, hey, man. I want to short this asset at this price. Set up a limit buy. Boom. There it is. You have negative shares of that asset. Technically, you have negative shares. Okay. Dave, no haters in here today, man. It seems like a bunch of really nice people. Very supportive and uh, very cool. So... That could be causing my problem, the echo on the tip. Dude, I don't know, man. I might just have to restart my computer before the night stream or something. Okay. Whew. Oh, anyway. You get it, man. Hey, you were warned. This is why sometimes it's nice to watch the uh, the night stream. Yeah. I want you to see something else on the weekly. All right. Let me get along. Look at this. You want to talk about a high flyer? You talking? Are you crazy, Ray, for going short here on a double top with bearish divergence? Not only on the daily, on both oscillators, but the freaking weekly triple MACD bearish divergence. Get out of here! Get the heck out of here, dude. Okay. Yeah, these are things you look for for shorts. All right. Hey, pig man. Oh. Uh, Great opinion, dude. You should start your own channel. Oh, wait. You can't, because no one will watch you ever. I hope me saying that actually inspires you to do it, to start your own channel, just so we can come in and talk crap about you, okay? I mean, Pablo, maybe. If the channel's respected, we don't know if the channels can be respected, okay? So. No, High Flyer's not the name of that. Human from Earth. Why is everyone so obsessed with it, dude? No one ever told me about a voice changer. I had to research it on my own, right? 
the heck? This is a TA show. This is not a let me show you how to stream and content create show. Okay. Now, if you want to know about how to create content and stream and stuff, I, I do consultations. So whatever, man. So that's a uh, XCL. Get wrecked, dude. It's beautiful. Freaking beautiful. It did look like a wedge, too, of some sort. Definitely a wedge. Hey, look at this, man. I mean, you could just want to. Yeah, it seems like you had it like that. And you go like this. And then see, inside the breakouts, and you adjust. Yeah, like, look, man. It's like two upsloping conversions. It's like, are you kidding me, man? Like everything's just pointing to we are screwed on this asset in a good way because we don't care if it's going up or down. I mean, we care if it goes down, but we're saying like you could flip the chart around and we could rever inverse this whole assets, uh, you know, analysis. And it's good for a, a long, a beautiful, big green candle today, Cabo. All right. You're at like near the apex of the wedge. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can look at, uh, where was it? No, let's look at uh, Wells Fargo. This is a short I have. Could, oh, look at that, man, just beautiful. Freaking beautiful, Brett. Nice one, Brett. Brett, it's gonna be between you and the, the literal asset of Texas Instruments, okay, dude? On Hype King, Cabo. I know Cruelty has uh, brought up a few Kevin brought up one. Tyler and brought up one. All right. Nope, not true. Crypto and tokens. I don't do that. I don't do that at all, man. Okay. I'll only very, very occasionally talk crap about people who wrong me and, and betray me, and you know, like HOC and Matt Beasley. But uh, no, those are the only two, only two like people I've uh, <clears throat> said anything about negatively. Okay. But hey, cryptos and tokens, there are plenty of people out there that don't give a crap about the TA, but they sure as heck give a crap about stirring crap up between content creators. It's called debating, and it happens all the time in the streaming community. Okay, so, nah. Why would I? What would that do for me, dude? Okay. So we'll see ya. We'll see ya. Keep on selling, baby. On oh, Wells Fargo Connect. Wonderful. Nice little update. Old EPT, big old dumpage today, man. Thank you very much. Uh, slanted head and shoulders pattern. Get the heck out of here. Come on down to the neckline and then snap it, and then we could be kings. Short kings. This beautiful, beautiful channel, and at the top, you up thrusted and failed to break, only to sell off and rally to make lower highs than that high, giving us that beautiful looking head and shoulders. Oh, Brett, is that right? I don't think so, dude. No, you're working with Wells Fargo, Sprint, and NPC. Okay. Get wrecked. You hate Wells Fargo? I mean, I don't really care about it. That's the B. <clears throat> so. Whatever, man. I mean, negative momentum is building. You're... <laughs> Plenty of room to run on the downside. You're just now getting to bearish territory on that uh, RSI. Wonderful. So nothing like it's putting this bearish pattern in jeopardy yet. We'll see if we can. The dominoes can keep falling for this asset. Okay. Wonderful. Take an ICE Intercontinental Exchange. Look at yesterday. Rising wedge. Looked like the S&P, didn't it? Oh well, well, well. Look here. Listen. Hey Mitch, can you take a look at the ganja stock for me, Brad DeCurve? King Connect at that T. Icon of the group, man. Thanks for the Kin Connect in the jar. Literally Kin Connect. Like, not even a joke. Thank you, dude. Yes, we'll look at Curl F. The marijuana asset or whatever. Hey, if I uh if I look at a marijuana asset in a state where it's illegal to do it. Can I get arrested, chat? Is that uh, how it works? Oh, it is 
is not our part to master all the rides of the world but to do what is in us for the succor of those year wherein we are set uprooting the evil in the fields that we know so that those who live after may have clean earth to till. Mr. Gray. Oh, it's Umbo, man. Thank you so much, dude. Is this uh, from Lord of the Rings, dude? Thank you, man. Yes, we uh, are uprooting the evil in the fields. That's the S-Coin affiliate marketing scammers, right? That's uh, the evil in the world. In our world. So that uh, those live after may have clean earth to till, chat. And that is what we're building. We are revitalizing the education from the geniuses of old in the stock market. And we're bringing it to a very infantile market. Clearing the thickets with our machetes. We're watching out for disease natives and you know predators i don't know aliens or something it's weird without me here no it's not private ones you're the only one that wants me back okay it's just weird you know it's weird out of sync audio that's what's weird tts sounded like you drank six red bulls what is going on dude i don't understand it doesn't even sound bad it sounds normal on my side i, I don't know it's you know Everything's lost its mind. Again. Jesus. Okay, so if it did break out, it did kind of break today. We're going to be pinpoint accurate on anchor points. Oops. What in the... Jeez. Sorry, officer. Intercontinental exchange is a little high. Yeah, dude, it like broke today. I'm talking one and two and three breakage on ice. Haha, <laughs> nice. Get it? We're breaking ice, dude. Wow, how hey, how often do we get to talk puns like that on these assets? Beautiful. Very good. Sup, uh, Jason Piazza. Piazza. <laughs> come back, Peggy. Come back. It's normal in Australia. The audio is fine. It's the video that's off. It is. It is me talking. You can see it's just off, man. I don't like that. Good guy. The stream is going crazy. Yeah, I guess so, man. Wait, oh my god. Here you go, Stream Labs. Just give me a sec, I got to uh, get rid of something. Exactly, Trevev. That's the whole point. Enigma? Oh my god. Well, guess what, dude? Guess what? Yeah. It actually didn't. Well, maybe it did. Let's uh, try to get pinpoint here. Oh, one touch. No, it, it did not actually. It, it somehow held, man. It really kind of held. Dude. Yeah. It, it hit, you know, the wick fell out. We were out for some time today, but somehow clo managed to close right inside of it now yeah there was that flaggish stuff bearish engulfing candle yesterday killed it man killed it and then we gapped down today get wrecked dude i'll show you something man and you may think it's crazy but i looked at this and i want you to see x a oh ice which one was it it was on the four hour did i not oh no 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 look look at this the Qs, which is, you know, like a lot of tech. Look at that chat. Oh my God. 618, you know, 886, so like like 1%, less than a percent higher, right, than the 886. And then the 786 PCZs at 175. There might be a potential long opportunity on the Qs at 175. <sighs> Very interesting pattern developed on the Qs, man. Let's go.
I could put my, uh, yeah, fist through my computer. That would work, probably. Sub Dan G. Chat, hello. Hype in the chat, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit of ch hype in the chat. Man, I know that's a. Uh, we only it only happens when Bitcoin pumps, but uh, we could just give it a shot. It'd mean a lot, dude. Hey, man, can we get uh, five more likes for a hundred? I mean, you know, that's cool. Yeah, huge rising wedge on the queues. Yes, yes, we know the rules. I mean, we can we can try to look at it. Man, I've had this up forever. Great education on a descending, broadening wedge's partial decline. I'm gonna miss you, dude. You're beautiful. All these patterns, they were so wonderful, dude. <sighs> yes. I mean, really, to me, almost looks like this. Let me uh, make this only visible on the four hour. I mean, you really, what is it for real? It's like a double top or like a scuffed head and shoulders, right? And the neckline is what you just almost broke, man. What you have broken on the cues. That's a neckline if you look at it that way. But you don't have to. You can say double top or neckline. Either way, man. Not as right. That was it right there. Beautiful pattern. Don't say that, man. Don't say that. Yeah, I just like it's so perfect. And you're out. And it's a huge pattern. So there could be much more losses on this asset's price in time. Uh, you're not oversold, so there's plenty of room to run the downside. You're now officially in bearish territory, like 38. A little pump going. Oh my god, dude. $8,300, wow. We've only not moved in three days straight, chat. Can you believe it? So I don't know about measured move here. I'd probably like to do low to high and get your Fibonacci. And as you can see, you're already approaching that 50% retrace. Uh, 179 could be a, a good area. All right, but you know, if you're shorting it. But I mean, a measured move just in itself, right? You're talking serious business. That's a 20, nearly $22 measurement, that's huge. That could take you all the way down to 165 in time. So Luth and I, thanks for watching, dude. Thanks for chatting. I don't know, Jacob, man. I'm not sure, like, uh, if it means anything or not. It's so close, though, right? It could just fall through tomorrow. Can't believe we did it, dude. All right, so uh, I mean, do we really want? Look, we're only down four dollars and uh, twenty cents. Is that a joint? So y'all just talking about uh, Bitcoin pumping, man? Bitcoin mini pump? Yeah, dude, Bitcoin mini pump, man. Hey, we were down seventy some dollars, and now we're not down really anything. So uh, hype in the chat for that. Kind of upset, man, about this uh, audio being off. I got a haircut today, right? And it's just, it's an okay haircut. I mean, I, I liked it. Uh, I hate having not clean cut hair, but uh, sucks, dude. Well, I guess we'll try to figure it out. So 83, 23. Oh my God, we're in the green. We're in the green on the day chat. Can you believe it? But yeah, we didn't look at Bitcoin on the daily, did we? Uh, one thing we brought up is, guess what? We're, we're still below it. That 200-day moving average, been below it for like a week now. And we know 80, what was it? 80 what hundred? 89.41 is your 
next target if you can break 8472, which it seems like you're beginning to try to turn it around. Again, looking for it up here. All right. 8941 to 9700. Square ups um, are around 84 or 9400. Okay, looking at the 60 minute. Will we rise? Somewhere six, that's exactly what someone would say that wanted me to keep the webcam on. I'm on to you, dude. These things don't just magically fix themselves. Hello, how are you doing today? Is there a sync issue on the audio and video? I'm checking right now. Hold on. Sorry, dude. It's still out. It's still off sync, man. What you want from me, dude? Told you, it doesn't just magically fix itself. Sorry. Yes, there is. A, yeah, there's a toy. Private wins, dude. Chill out. There is a problem, and it and it's happened, and it's out of sync. It still is very, it, dude. It may look like it's it's just barely off. It, there's just something I gotta figure out. Okay, man, I'll do that after the stream. Oh, uh, sorry, I gotta go to the marijuana stock. I'm sorry, curl FF. Cure Relief Holdings. Oh, yeah, nice big green candy uh, up nearly 15%. Not really much to look at. I mean, it looks like a butterfly. Nah, nay, it's not a butterfly. For, scratch that. So you had this ice line back from March, July, August, and you fell through it finally just uh, about a week ago. And now you're busting the upside. There wasn't really any indication why it was gonna happen maybe on the daily dude it was just gnarly look this range dude and a range you fell below it. now you're up you're you're springing to the upside which is good you know but again i don't know talking about buying on an asset that's up 15 percent let's see how long we stay above six dollars and ten cents because you're probably not going to get another big day of green like you got today on this marijuana all right I don't even know if we touched a fib extension, man. Like your previous low to high. Oh, we did. We actually hit the 1272 and then bounced. Nice, dude. And that happens from time to time. We will never run out of clouds. Dude, I'm sore, man. Quant Slap, thanks, dude. Glad you like the music. Just type in Johnny M in the mix. He's my boy. He's like pretty much my DJ. Not really. I don't know him, but I want to know him. And I want him to do a live stream or a live DJ session. But he's big time. I don't know. He's got like 48,000 subs. So he's got way over double me. So I don't, I don't know, I mean like, you know, when you want me to look at something and if something's up 15%, all I can do is tell you, hey man, you're getting back into a range you were confined within from July 2019 until you fell out in September. So just a couple months and from the high to, well, you know, 
From your high to low, you hit a 50% retrace. Before pulling back. Closing up. So maybe we can get a back test of the $6.13 cent area. Maybe back testing the spring. And then you could run. And then use long. And then have a stop below the wick here. And then uh, you know, maybe you could run all the way up. Back up to eight dollars but again it's just like I, I don't know man i think the the move has happened and now you're in a correction i think this correction could last much longer than just this amount of time okay it's almost like head or head and shoulder stuff right ugly You've read and heard of a possible market crash for the stock market, for stocks and housing market. I mean, you know, people have been talking about that forever, dude. Like every year. Of course, it's coming. We don't know when, though. All right. So, uh, thanks for the uh, 456 people watching. If you're enjoying the live stream, hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Thanks so much. Y'all amazing. All right. Bitcoin's up uh, 20, $25 right now on the day. So it's really not moved in three days. 72 hours, nothing burger. Like completely just... Imagine trying to be an actual trader and just being obsessed with crypto. What do you even do, man? What do you do for three days? You're sitting there looking at Bitcoin. Like, I don't know what to do, man. I'm just going to try to take a trade, a swing trade. It's like you just can't. What's up, said Bye, Dana. Good to see you. So uh, yeah, we can now look at the uh, the Kang, the Kang. So there you have it, man. Yesterday was the day. Today you gapped down, man. The divergence was there. The double top was there. You have not quite yet broken out of the what very large rising wedge pattern on Texas Instruments that has double topped at its all-time highs. Not only that. Sorry, I have these fibs here for targets the downside because it is a trade setup. Well, for me anyway. I don't know about you, but uh, you need to see how brilliant this is. The opportunity, whether it fails or not, I don't care. It's got all the makings of a varsity athlete. And I'm talking not just a varsity athlete. I'm talking like um, all-state player right here. Where you hit a one, you double top the 1618. Kind of triple top. One, two, three rejected so there is a lot of downside potential the divergence was there it's beautiful man just freaking too perfect of an opportunity too perfect exactly that's where scanning comes in jacob yeah always be scanning there's just so much more opportunity you don't have to wait i mean you always are going to wait and there's going to be things that you see that aren't even close to their targets that's why you set up the alert you move on and you keep scanning man Johnny M in the mix, Quant Slap. That's what's the name, okay. What's up, Buzzwire? Thanks for the sub, dude, welcome. Dude, can we get a sub spike, man? I uh, I don't grow anymore, I'm, I'm dead streamer, okay. Just trying to get to 30,000 subs, man, so we can get Pepe memes and stuff in the chat. was it dude guess what well 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 Matt freaking Donald's destroyed today well not destroyed just down 1.3 percent but you get it it was like double top head and shoulder stuff whatever you want to call it it was gnarly and uh, the selling you're just hitting the heart line now this huge channel you've been in forever now a really long time since since all that leg you legged up Really kind of started like fit 2016 man it's been uh, on a tear but it's now made lower highs and uh, well you know what's funny it's because it's like you had like a wedge here like a rising wedge and you broke it so there was like probably opportunity even before you didn't think about setting up alerts you have to a swing trader because remember if you are looking for assets to trade and you're looking to trade them now I mean that's you literally that's the market playing you 
when you wait for trades to come to you, that is you playing the market, all right? How do you bring more people together? Oh, you, you can't. You gotta. You gotta start. Uh, I gotta start throwing trash at homeless people, doing really cringy crap stuff, or I've gotta go to Twitch and do like uh, reaction streams to really stupid stuff that other. You know, right? You're commenting on someone else's stupid stuff that everyone watches, right? That's how you get big. All right. Or we just go through another great FOMO, and then that would be great. But uh, we don't see that. I don't see that. When's that going to happen, man? Could be never. Bitcoin meteor shower. That'd be cool. I could make something like that happen, dude. For sure. Coinbase bro, man. Not bad. What's up, uh, Craig? ILG. Bitcoin doing things. I mean, whatever, dude. It's up forty-four dollars. You could easily just go back down. Okay, seventy-two hours, nothing. We plot. It's like the same answer for any kind of pattern, dude. I mean, the daily is always optimum. The weekly, even better. Got it. That's it. Four-hour can happen, can work, but it's not as reliable as the daily. Okay, so ideally, the daily for any kind of Japanese candlestick patterns, what you want. So how Bulkowski did all his research on the daily. Crypto and tokens, man, you can there's just every almost every exchange broker brokerage out there has the ability for you to short stocks. Think about how mature the market is, how regulated it is. All I mean, all the players are gonna have that ability for you. But I'd start rec I'd recommend going to something for free now because that's the way the Met Robinhood has changed the meta. Now all the big boys are taking off the trading fees like Schwab and TD Ameritrade, which hilariously are both my brokerages. <laughs> so it's nice. About a month I gained 1,000 subs. So you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 10 months will be at 30k. All right, great. 10 months till 30k. That sucks. When people go into freaking Area 51 are getting that in a second. Okay, so I want to look at uh, the S&P 500, whatever. I think we did. We already did that, didn't we? Yeah, we already did this, man. So, hello, Standard Poor and Nutzel. You were here when we looked at it. What are you doing, man? You break out anywhere. The measure moves all the way down to like 2671. We also know there's like that potential looking garly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Buzzwire, it's a great day for trading on other markets for shorting. Okay. It was great. Remember, we talked about Ethereum. You know, if, if Bitcoin takes a turn to the upside, any then Ethereum is going to go up too. And it told you it's like a higher risk opportunity for a short. You know, the lowest risk is at the top of the wedge, not the bottom. Okay. Breaking the upside, eighty three sixty. Looking around forty bucks. We'll get got to break eighty five hundred for that two uh, two three six, and again the reiteration of the common retraces eighty nine forty one to ninety seven hundred. Okay. Jeff Fabiano, the sentence was kind of weird. I got some of it. I don't get what you mean. Okay. All right. I mean, y'all are updated. Y'all are like up to date on <clears throat> this asset. I mean, 
We've got uh, 40 minutes until your close, your daily close. Todd V, man, thanks so much for joining the Patreon. Yes, absolutely. Remember, it's the second best day of the month to join that Patreon, where you'll get uh, you know trade setups, doing unofficial stock trade setups, just because it's like the market conditions for altcoins are just awful uh, for, for real swing trading. And uh, the education alone is well worth the amount of cost to join. I mean, my God, way more. But uh, yeah, dude, it's just a uh, second best day to join. And if you care about this stream, you want to see the stream continue on for years to come, man, that's one of the best ways to support this channel, right? So whatever, man. Teaching, educating. If you want to learn more about what I do on stream, if you want to learn how to uh, read charts, join the Patreon as a way to invest in yourself. Jason, I don't. Why would I ever get into the U.S. dollar coin at 1.25 percent annual returns, annual yields? Because uh, I could just go to any kind of any kind of run-of-the-mill money market account and have it there and get better returns, right? I mean, there are some that are like 2.5 percent APY. So what in the world would I settle for 1.25 percent APY, Jason? Unless you're just talking about holding it. Um, for trading or something? Do I see a problem with YouTubers becoming too popular and in influencing their community? What does that mean? I, I don't know. I mean, it depends how they're influencing, dude. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Joe. Good for him. Wow. What a lucky guy. Been grinding for 19 months. <laughs> yeah. But again, it's the criteria, right? It's the criteria that I, I cover <clears throat> here. So. I challenged the drink troll last night and then probes gives me the gift I must break you and then I sent him a gift that says I want you by Apollo Creed and then he sent a, a, another gift recently of Apollo Creed like twitching <laughs> on the ground <laughs> wow crazy Some Harley Kangs, man. Good to see you. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, dude. UMP been devastated. <laughs> Double top connect. Yeah, I think so. Fell off a freaking cliff, man. Oh my god, you're near it. Oh my god. This is getting closer to the measure move and getting closer to the bottom trend line of this crazy historical uptrend you've been in since uh, 2016, the beginning of 2016. I think my days are numbered, dude. Pacific Corporation. Just getting wrecked with the market. Stock market. You know, where there's actual movement, not crypto, which didn't do anything at all. So, Joe, um, Okay. Well, 
I guess I'll just focus on trade setups and whatever. When the volatility comes back on in crypto, on Bitcoin, whatever, you know, we'll start doing longer streams and stuff. It just doesn't make sense right now. It's just like dead. Um, so I'll just, uh, I mean, short stream, dude. What do you want? I mean, I can't make the crypto market be interesting. Sorry. And I can't make you be interested in stocks. Okay. I know some of you are, but just people will come here for crypto. So, um, Bitcoin, uh, the crypto market, the daily closes in like 35 minutes. So, um, just be on the lookout to see what happens. And we'll get volatility to the upside on Bitcoin. Uh, who knows? It's been 72 hours of absolutely nothing. So I uh, don't know what to tell you. But we could break the upside. You're looking for 89.41 as the 38% retrace. If you did break, um, 8,500. So I'll be back. Not sure when. So until then, respect the tea.
Thank you.